Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike back again with a, I feel like it's a pretty helpful video. For anybody that uses a two PC setup knows that having an extra mouse and keyboard on your desk can be kind of cumbersome. What if I told you that there was a free program that you could download directly from Microsoft's website that allows you to control both your gaming and your streaming PC with one mouse and one keyboard. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install it, get this thing up and running. It's super quick, super easy, and it's super lightweight barely uses any resources, so let's get into it. So here's what the landing page looks like for Microsoft's uh, Mouse Without Borders program. Obviously, you want to click to download manually. As you can tell, I've, I've already downloaded this bad boy. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag that. We're going to open that one up. Go ahead and go through the installation process. Finish. I was going to ask you if you have already installed Mouse Without Borders on another computer. We're going to go ahead and hit no. Next, it's going to show your computer's desktop name as well as giving you this security code. Now, you're going to have to keep this screen open because now we're going to have to go over to the streaming PC. OK, so here we are over on the streaming PC. As you can see, I have the, uh, the setup file already ready to go. And we're going to run this thing through. OK, so once again, we're going to go through the setup process. We're going to install Mouse Without Borders and we're going to go ahead and finish. So once it's done installing, you're going to see this window pop up again where it asks you, have you already installed Mouse Without Borders on another computer? This time we're going to hit yes. So here you're going to need to get the security code and the other computer's name. And that's what you're going to type into here. So I'm going to blur this out so you heathens don't try to steal any of my hentai files. All right, once you get that stuff entered in, go ahead and hit link. And with that, both computers should be connected. You can copy and paste from one computer to another. You can even drag files across both computers and share the same keyboard and mouse. We're going to go over to the gaming PC and we're going to hit next and done. So when this window pops up, think of this like it's your display settings in Windows and how you have your monitors displayed. That's pretty much what it's asking you. It's asking you, OK, which computer is on which side? My actual local machine is on the right of my stream PC. So I'm going to move that over and hit apply and then close. And then I'm going to go over to my streaming PC and yep, looks like everything's ship shape. I'm going to go ahead and apply and close. Now, this is the part I pretty much lost. <laughs> I lost it at. So we're going to move our mouse, right? Here we go. Let's do the test. Ah, look at that. We can even go over here, throw that in the trash. Don't need that garbage anymore. Open up Google. We could technically type anything we want to go. The cool thing is it works both ways as well. So if I were to grab the mouse for my streaming PC, slide it over here, works that way too. It's also test out dragging files over as well. I'm going to take my trusted picture of Mr. Rick Moranis from Revenge of the Nerds, and we're going to drag it over to our streaming PC. Boom, there we go. Pops up a window, drag to the desktop, do what you want to do with it. There we go. And with that, Mouse Without Borders is installed. You're good to go. And now you can throw away that old mouse and keyboard. Actually, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't throw it away just just in case you need to get into the BIOS or something like that. That thought crossed my mind where, you know, hey, often I might need a tweak with the BIOS settings and whatnot. Good to keep that mouse and keyboard handy. But, you know, if you're the type of person that never turns your computer off. You're good to go. And with that, I hope somebody finds this useful. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate appreciate you coming by, checking out the video and I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Bye.